How do you install a Ring video doorbell to a wired system? I'm an electrician, let me show you how. All right, so there's a lot of videos out there about how to install these, but I figured uh, being that I do electrical videos, I would do one from the standpoint of an electrician. So if you're gonna hire an electrician, how are we going to install this when we come out? So you'll notice that I have the, the Ring uh, video doorbell right here. Um, this is basically just gonna be a direct replacement for this. We're gonna pull this off, hook the wires up, stick that on there. There's a couple different mounting plate options based off if you want this thing to kind of tip forward or if you want it to kick out a little bit. I'm gonna try to have mine kick out a little bit because I wanna be able to see out uh, as somebody's walking up. I don't want it just pointing sideways like this or else every time I look on my camera, I'm just gonna see that wall. So a doorbell system really only has three components. There's the push button, there's the transformer, which is usually in an attic or it's in like a furnace closet, water heater closet, somewhere like that, that's kind of hidden and out of sight. Um, and then there's a chime inside that actually does the ding dong. All right, now that we've got the power turned off, we just need to uh, take this existing push button out. All right, and then I'm gonna carefully pull that out. I don't wanna lose those wires in the wall. Normally they're very short, these are as well. You can see I can't actually pull any more slack out of that. And then I'm gonna take each one of these conductors off. It doesn't matter which side goes to which side. You're just, uh, you're completing a circuit. So basically, um, if you were to push this push button, it connects the top to the bottom. Same thing could happen if you were just to touch these two ends, you'd hear that your chime would go off. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is put our mounting plate on. So we wanna make sure that our wires come through our mounting plate. I need to make sure that I cover up any of that junk right there. So I'm gonna try to just center it over where it was before. Uh, there's a few different kinds of screws that come with it. You wanna make sure when you put these screws in to mount it, that you go flush. So you actually kinda have to put the screws in at an angle. If you don't, if you try to put them in uh, you know, straight in, they're gonna stick out too much and that's gonna get in the way of this thing. So try to get them as flush as possible and go at an angle. Uh, some of your kits, you might actually have a masonry kit because you might be trying to fix uh, this to some kind of stone uh, brick or something like that. In that case, you're gonna need a masonry bit and you're gonna have to pre-drill your holes and then put your screws in. And they've got anchor kits that come with this that you can do that with. In my situation, I just don't have to do that. You don't wanna get those screws in there too tight or else it'll suck the plate down and it'll warp it. So now we need to hook the wires up, um, but we need to take this out of here. A lot of people are get confused and they're like, how do I pull that out? How do I get it out? If you just push from the front, it doesn't come with any screws or anything. It's kind of clipped in place, um, but it just comes out like that. And that's how you get to these screws to mount it to that actual plate. Um, so just take this off for the time being. You'll notice there is a little screw hole in the bottom there. That's how you get it to stay after the, the complete install. But out of the package, it doesn't come with that on it. So we're gonna loosen these screws in the back. That's where our wires are gonna go. Again, we don't care which one we put where. You're just completing a circuit. What you do wanna do is make sure that this wire doesn't touch this wire. Next thing we have to do is we have these tiny little screws and uh, these are what's gonna hold this back to that plate. You wanna make sure that the camera's on top and the button's down in the middle. It actually has the words on here, remove film. That lets you know that it's up in the right direction. If it's flipped upside down, your image is gonna be upside down. Then we wanna do the same thing on the bottom. Make sure it's on there straight. All right, last thing to do, stick this guy on. And then the kit actually comes with this little screwdriver. It's a hex or a star screwdriver. Uh, it fits these specific screws that come in the packaging. So we're just gonna stick that in on the bottom and that will keep the actual cover on the device. All right, now before we can actually turn the ring on, we do have to put this uh, little power pack in. So this is something if you have an existing installation and you have just a regular chime like this, uh, you do need to install and make sure that you do it before you go turn power on. Uh, it's got a little sticky on the back, so it can actually stick to pretty much anything in here. 
I'm just gonna tuck mine in the back like this. Try to get it out of the way. What you don't want is it interacting with these coils here. Otherwise it'll make your doorbell not work. All right, so now that we've got the push button installed up front, we've got the uh, old existing chime hooked up. Now we have to go turn the power on and actually get into the programming uh, so we can sync it up with the app and our Wi-Fi. Now, one thing that you might consider installing, I also did in my place, is a ring chime. So you can leave your existing chime in, but if you have a really large house and you want to be able to hear somebody coming to the door and you want to hear it like upstairs or off in some master bedroom somewhere they have a chime kit that you can install and it's really easy literally just plugs into the wall you go to the app and you find the device and activate it and it kind of extends that wi-fi signal and allows you to hear the chime throughout multiple places in the house all right, my friends, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are curious about more electrical videos and doing anything with electricity, follow my channel. Please also go to electricianu.com if you wanna learn a lot more. We have tons of videos and premium content. Um, so our members, we do a bunch of premium stuff every month. We drop courses. If you wanna learn anything about electricity in general, it's a really good thing to do. Uh, we have continuing education for electricians. So every year when you uh, need to update your continuing education, keep your license. If you're going to get your license as an electrician and you want some practice exams, and practice national electrical code, uh, we have those for free for our members as well. So check that out, link in the description below. Love you crazy people, see you in the next one. This can't music and video.